Hey, what is going on my fellow collectors? How's it going? Hope you guys are all doing well out there. This is Regan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. In today's video, we are going to unbox and review this newly released figure of Hot Toys. And this is none other than the Iron Man Mark I armor. Of course, from the Marvel Studios Iron Man movie. Another Iron Man figure. But this time is the die cast version of this Mark I. There you go. Or D40 MMS 605A16 scale collectible figure. And before start, if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell if you want to get notified once I upload a new video, especially hot toys. Okay, without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so this is the brown shipping box or brown box. So let's take it out the main art box. Let's go. This is really cool guys but first things first let's remove the plastic all right so this is the art box and I would say it looks absolutely fantastic guys look at that print that is amazing I mean the quality is really really nice you know it looks like a you know a canvas paint look kind of like that it looks really really cool it actually looks uh it looks very realistic you know print right here that fire really kind of like you know embossed but not really embossed but you know the texture the quality is really really good it looks like a gold plate set uh, you know print i would say and on the side you can see right there very vintage you know color but it's the same color it's just that like this part right here on the front is more you know um vibrant and you know the yellowish color is very strong and also the gold and at the back of course the you know simple print of warning and their website shops here uh, in hong kong and of course still has that very nice color of the mark one armor there you go but i would say that the older version our box that one is more you know more artistic than this one well the quality of this one is really really nice but the you know the older version mine i'm not sure if this is 3.0 already or 2.0 but my my older version has that really really cool um like you know art box because it looks more artistic you know in my opinion i'm just saying so anyway this is the special edition and i'm excited to see that figure so let's open it this is the styrofoam you know for die cast Mark one, imagine that. Imagine that. I'm gonna take it out first. The underneath packaging. I'm gonna open this one first. Mark one. Mark one. So, right here, there is packaging right here underneath. Oh, it's very light guys very plastic i would say so this is the base that elevated base it looks like a base of you know the justice league right <laughs> wow nice i mean you know not bad but yeah it's really really cool but it's i think it looks okay it's plastic but it's very hard looks durable uh, easy to break you can see right there their logo yeah paint application looks very neat in my opinion the details looks really good okay of course the nameplate i really like the nameplate guys the first iron man movie right that is really really cool i wish there's some you know extra you know led light up effect here to light that light up that you know iron man nameplate right that's amazing Anyway, there's no movable part. I think that's it. We have the, the iconic, you know, base. Even from the, you know, first version. I think, I think it's the same. Probably the same, or probably some adjustment, you know, in terms of quality, the paint apps. You know, right? Yeah, I think it's really, really cool. The details, very nice. So we're gonna stand this uh, diorama base here on top of this main base, okay? I'm gonna put this one on the side first. Of course, extra joint. And with that, oh, of course, I forgot the holder. Okay, that's just one first. 
there you go. Wow, that very, I mean, like that, that classic holder, and it's just a little bit different, like here. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, I'm really excited with this one, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, I'm really excited to see this one, guys. Okay, there you go. So let's remove the plastic. I'm gonna start up with the fire effect that uh, flamethrower fire effect, which is really really nice. And it's two pieces, you know, not just only one, which is correct, you know, in my opinion. And it's uh, smaller, you know, than the first version. Than my version, I forgot already. This is 3.0 already, guys. So, anyway, that is amazing. I think it's a little bit darker than the first version, I would say. Okay, there you go, very nice. And then, right here is a pair of extra interchangeable hands. And then, ooh, this one. Oh my goodness, this is really, really nice. This is heavy, guys. You could really hear. You know that die cast metal you know bam that is die cast wow this is amazing guys let's move on let's get the figure Ooh. right there you go guys this is absolutely beautiful wow this is amazing wow those are really a die cast guys uh, yeah this one kind of like mix anyway we're gonna review that later but just a quick look again before we check the articulations wow very nice quality guys and the paint job amazing <laughs> this is amazing guys that's the head sculpt right there. Tony Stark. And also a die cast, another die cast helmet right here. So we have two version. Ooh, so this one is the unpainted one, right? Like, kind of like, you know, uh, he's starting to make it. But this one is the something like, it has some, you know, a weathering, more weathering, I would say. That is amazing, guys. Ooh. Anyway, so that's it. Okay, there you go, guys. So, you know, yes. that is amazing. Okay, so let's take it out this one. All right, so doesn't have much of accessory. I think that's pretty much everything included in the box. So now let's check the articulations and attach those weapons and accessories. Okay. Let's get it on. Alright, so let's check the articulations. I'm gonna start with the head. Let's do 360. Okay, it's quite tight. Yeah, you could move his head all the way to the back. And I could still see some, you know, plastic inside the neck. I mean, like around the neck. Uh, but I'm not gonna remove that to avoid some scratches while moving the head. Okay, I think it's very smooth and tight. Looking down. I think that's the max and then look up oops that's too much and of course you can see right there so don't do that like you know like over um, like tilt to the back so because you might gonna show that you know a space or a gap and you could see that joint right there which is not good okay so only up to here probably just here is fine okay and then tilt I think it's a max tilt Right there, the side. Okay, there you go. And then look down diagonal, diagonal. I think that's it. Okay, I think we could move. Yeah, we could open the, of course, the helmet right there, the front uh, plate. It's really, really cool. Okay, and let's move on to the arms. I think the arms, shoulder. So I think that's the max, guys, because of the armor. See, so I cannot uh, lift that arms. I think only 45 degrees, you know, for both arms. I would say, so up to here. Just only the side, probably, you know, you know, 
raising that arm to the side. I think that's the max. Uh, yeah, I think that's the max. I tried, I tried uh, pulling it up, but yeah, that's the max. Anyway, let's move on to the front. There you go. The front. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so if you raise his arms to the front like this, I think it looks good. Wow, 90 degrees. I think we could do higher. Yeah, higher. Higher than 90 degrees right there. Looks fantastic. Wow. Okay. Just do it slowly. And it's very smooth, huh? Doesn't have, I mean, it's not ratchet joint, but I'm just saying, like, you know, it's very smooth. You can see right there. Wow. Quality. That is very nice quality, guys. See? Swivel inside yeah inside you can see right there so it's not the, the you know arm more on the shoulder it's not gonna move once you swivel those arms how about this one yes also okay and now let's move on to the elbows hmm. i think just 90 degrees guys okay that's the max how about this one yeah i think that's the max I think even from the movie, you know, um, I mean, it, it's still a new, I mean, like his first armor, so, uh, you know, the articulation is very limited, so I would say it's okay, totally fine, guys, if yeah, the articulation is not that really, really big, right? At least that, you know, like that raising that arm to the front is perfect, you know, I would say. And then the wrist, I think it's pretty decent, you know. And then let's move on to the waistline. I mean, the upper body. We could twist just a little bit. Yeah, I think twisting it. I think it's fine if it's a bit small, just ten percent. See, I think it's fine. Okay, but you could really feel that you could actually move the upper body or the torso, but it's just that because of the armor. But I think I would say it's fine totally fine guys see wow that is really really nice i think it's fine okay perfect i mean like perfect i mean like very limited range of motion but i would say it's still perfect it's still okay you know that's very uh natural i mean and accurate anyway let's move on to the legs i'm gonna start with this side just 45 degrees guys see i think it's fine you do the back right there so some walking position, other side, I think it's fine, 45 degrees too, not bad, and then to the side, hmm. so it doesn't have that in you know, open leg, it's right there, I think that's the max, yeah, something like this, I think it's fine, totally fine guys, okay, because of the armor here, so that's why I cannot lift the legs to the side, okay, but I think it's fine. Even this one, the reason why we can't is probably because of, I think that's it, I'm not sure why, okay, but that's the max. Anyway, let's move on to the knees part, same with the elbows, 90 degrees, I think it's fine, ratchet joint, can you guys hear it? Yes, very nice, yeah, you can see right there, 90 degrees, okay, swivel, yeah, we can swivel that guys. I think if we swivel it, we could lift it a little bit higher. Maybe. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so we could swivel both legs, but it's a little bit loose. So be careful on moving it. And then, ankle part. Wow, that is perfect. See? Wow. Okay, so because there's no, like, like close armor here, or like tight armor, so that's why we could really move the ankle um, freely, you know, flex and point. But side, oh yeah, nice, amazing. That is amazing. You know, for you know, uh, standing position. I mean, we really need those uh, you know, joint on the ar the ankle part. Amazing articulations on the ankle part. I would say, guys, wow, this is amazing. So anyway, I think that's it for the articulations, guys. It's quite heavy. I mean, not a really really heavy compared to the you know. Uh, his other armor, our diecast version. But this one's so was quite heavy, guys. Wow, this is amazing. Anyway, um, hmm, I think that's it, guys. That's it for the articulations.
Okay, so this time we're gonna check those movable parts or probably, you know, detachable parts if any and the details, let's check the quality, the paint application and especially those die cast, you know, material but I believe this one is kind of like mixed, you know so probably some armor or, you know, made out of plastic and die cast material, okay? So let's see if, you know, if we could notice that so I'm gonna start with that, uh, you know, uh, feet um, the shoe or the shoe armor this one looks like a die cast material. Looks like. Yeah, it looks like. Well, let me try this one. Yeah, it looks like a die cast material. So probably this. Uh, this is mixed. Like probably underneath. See, the sole is plastic. Yeah, this is plastic. Same on the other side. So probably that inside part is metal. I mean, like die cast material. But this one is plastic, yeah. Yeah, you could really tell it's plastic. But you could see that details, the paint application is really, really nice, right? You know, that kind of like peel off effect of the paint app, right? That is really nice. Amazing. So this one is movable parts. And then this one right here, also movable. This one, yeah, you could really move all the way up there. Okay, very nice quality. You see those weathering. Okay. And also those embossed parts, right? It looks like, uh, you know, very realistic, you know, I would say. See right here, right? Amazing. But this one is, it yeah, looks like a mix, like mix of plastic. and. But I, look, I can feel like it's more plastic material than, you know, die cast. This one actually looks like a die cast material because of the paint. But, uh, hmm. Looks like, yeah, this one is plastic. This one looks like a metal. I mean, it looks like a die cast material. Okay. So, again, movable part. This one. Once you move this one right here, you could also lift that one. Okay. And then, right here, this one is also movable uh, part. Also, this one right here. Okay, that is cool. But this one. It looks like metal. I think just plastic. Yeah, just plastic, guys. No, actually, it looks, yeah. yeah. But I could feel it's a little bit cold. So, it looks like a, you know, die cast material. Yeah. And also, this one right here. This one is plastic. Yeah. This one is, looks like a die cast. This one is die cast and then mixed with the plastic material. Okay, very nice paint application again. Okay. And you could move this one up to there. Yeah. I mean, once you lift the leg, yeah, you could move this one right here. And you can see that, you know, that wire, okay, that kind of like a made out of coil, right? Very nice, see? Inside, there's a tool, um, I don't know, like maybe gas tank, right? Yeah, okay, very nice. And also this one, again, plastic. This one is not movable. Okay, very nice details. Also, this one right here. This is really cool. And also, those wires are really, really nice, guys. See? This one doesn't look like, you know, like a normal plastic, you know, uh, wire, right? And also, this one, no? Very nice uh, tape wire right here. Which is really, really cool. Okay, you could move this one. Of course, those wires are movable. This one is very soft. I really like this kind of wire. Also, this one. Okay. That is really amazing. This one, yeah, I think this one's connected to the front. So this one uh, looks like um looks like a plastic, but uh, yeah, it looks like plastic, guys. This one right here, this two on the leg part, yeah, yeah, this one is die cast material. <laughs> okay, so it really, I could really feel it's. Pretty solid, you know, I would say. Very nice detail, see? Very nice sculpture, see? That is amazing. Some weathering, also nice. This one is not uh, movable. Yeah, I cannot move this one. I, can, I cannot even twist it, like, you know, from, you know, um, from the legs. Because there are some armor that you could, you know, move it. But this one's really fixed to the legs. So, which is really good, you know, I would say. And, yeah, this one... This one looks like attached to the die cast material. So this one probably plastic. Yeah, you could feel it looks like plastic. 
this one yeah this one's metal this whole thing right here okay the front was a nice this one no no this one yeah you could move this one's rubber right here this one is made out of plastic guys like this one right here this one the waist part uh wait looks like a mix yeah i can really tell but yeah i could feel this one is like a plastic yeah so inside is plastic the whole uh waistline uh, this one this one looks like a metal looks like a i mean this part right here this one is kind of like a flap so this one is movable very nice paint application amazing okay, there's a lot of wires which is you know i'm really amazed you know and i really like the color you know of it because it looks you know real <laughs> yeah this one also this wire is really really nice guys i'm really enjoying it you know every details of this you know figure <laughs> wow okay and this one right here the chest armor i believe this one is die cast bam yeah this one is i could feel it because i could because it's winter here so i could really feel you know you know it's very cold it really conducts there you know the temperature right see <laughs> so also this one right here yeah those are die cast but this one right here is kind of like made out of plastic or mix but I could you know I could uh, squeeze it eh? so meaning it's plastic so attached to the die cast material okay so also this one right here yeah the shoulder armor are also die cast made out of die cast material I think so but this one is it looks like plastic because I could squeeze it eh? this one is yeah looks like a die cast material so again mix that's what i'm saying so it's kind of like mix they mix it up which is really really nice you know it doesn't look like um uh you know mix so yeah this one the bicep armor looks like die cast material okay so die cast die cast die cast and then the forearm armor this one hmm, i think this one is plastic just plastic very nice details and weathering you know i would say and then the paint application also and this one right here the fuel tank okay really really cool paint application right looks good and then this one right here this one looks like wow plastic yeah this is just plastic guys think uh, yeah so plastic plastic and could swivel that very nice details right here and i could see you know that led light up effect right there wow so it's not uh, movable even the whole armor on the arms is not actually movable see so it's really attached to the arms right at least it's fixed you know uh, you're not gonna have a hard time to you know you know arranging it every time you know going to pose it uh this one right here so this one is movable Okay, underneath the elbows and then that's it that's it for the movable parts I think, yeah you could probably you know detach you know the armor if you know if you're going to pull it out but it looks like stick to the the whole arms eh? and the fabric material inside of course is pants right there very nice you know? very neat I would say see and also that you know that suit inside which is really really cool i wish we could have some you know extra you know figure um to display uh while he's doing his you know his armor right kind of like a workshop look but the first version uh, you know uh, then yeah at the back right here very nice details guys look at that wow that is amazing I believe this is where you're going to put the USB right there, okay? Yes, the USB-C. Very nice detail, see? The chain, see? Nice, see? Very nice. There's a lot of wires. 
which is you know really amazed me i really love the details guys so probably the whole thing yeah, this whole thing right here this um machine the engine kind of like that so uh it's made out of plastic right yeah only this part right here but the other parts like around is metal but not everything you know not you know all the parts of his armor are die cast material again i said if it's all die cast material it's gonna be uh, you know uh heavier than this one okay but yeah i think that's it very nice details the paint applications amazing guys um oh also i forgot this one the helmet of course Ooh, of course this one is made out bam that's metal i mean that's die cast material okay also the back very nice see the details really really nice guys okay let me try to detach this one i haven't uh, removed the plastic inside but of course let's see wow that's quite hard to detach Ooh. it's very hard to detach that guys wow so if you're planning to detach the plastic there you go so it has two uh it is double jointed so joint on the neck and also i mean like underneath the neck and also this one right here so you can see right there i can move his head i could loosen up a little bit so yeah if you want to remove the plastic then you know it's up to you but i'm not gonna remove it to at least protect you know from scratches so it's velcro design anyway so you could easily detach that so i'm not gonna remove the plastic so oh, i could uh, move the waistline side to side guys i didn't uh, do this one earlier front and back side to side nice Ooh, that is amazing guys see wow anyway so that's it uh for those uh, movable parts detachable parts and but in the of course there's no detachable parts except that head okay i think that's it so now let's um let's put the batteries i mean like no not the batteries let's put some usb cable right here there you go so we could uh check and test the uh, led light up effects on the chest reactor and also right here okay so let me put the flamethrower effect on his arms right here okay let me remove those hands so this one has a detachable like fabric material kind of like a cover for that joint okay i think you could uh, keep it there so it should be like this so you're gonna insert all the way inside i think it's better if you shoot that fabric material first before putting the So make sure to check the hole but but there's no print if, which one is right or left but uh yeah make sure to check the the size of the hole right here right there yes okay Okay, but we're gonna have a hard time to put back the hands because of this armor right here so let's see so I'm just gonna leave it like this guys so I'm not gonna uh, push it so because I'm afraid to break that you know that joint okay I think it's fine okay right here so now let's try the other side whoops Ooh. okay so this is detachable guys you can see right there i mean since the joint on the hand is very tight that's why i accidentally pulled the whole thing <laughs> oh my goodness that is scary Ooh. 
okay yeah that is plastic there you go so you have to hold the whole forearm gauntlet and then this one so we have to remove this one right here wait or we have to push it all the way inside i think it's better to remove that you know the wrist thing uh wrist strap so we could attach this there you go yeah hey, i think it's better to detach that you know so we cannot attach this one uh this fabric uh, strap on his wrist so i'm just gonna leave it like this i think it's fine there you go that's it so just be careful on so just be careful on moving the you know or detaching that you know hand because it might gonna you might gonna pull out this you know <laughs> this forearm right there Ooh. okay there you go that's how it looks like bam that is amazing guys that's crazy wow beautiful guys this is a beautiful figure I would say look at that the color very shiny you know <laughs> right that is really really nice guys wow okay so now let's try that uh, USB uh, LED light up effect so I have here so it doesn't come with you know a uh, cable so make sure to find one okay so this is the USB-C that all the way inside there you go like that okay and then the switch right here what that is moving oh my goodness that is amazing look at that whoa <laughs> and then the LED light up effect right there guys the chest reactor wow <laughs> That is amazing, guys. Look at that. Also, right here, some red uh, LED. See? Wow. It's amazing, guys. I think that's it. Uh, that's it for the LED light up effect. So, just two the chest and right here, also on the forearm contact. Okay? And also this one right here. Oops. Wait, I didn't turn on. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so this one, there you go. So you have to find a, I think power bank is fine, but I think you have to attach it to, or connect it to the outlet, okay? Yeah, I think it's better to connect it to the outlet, but the power bank works, but uh, you know, it's gonna turn off automatically. I think so. Okay, right there. Amazing guys, this is amazing. That is really really cool. I wish there's you know more LED light up effects, but I think that's fine, you know. In the movie, I think it's only like it's only that, you know. Right? Bam! Amazing. Okay, I think that's it. And this one, anyway, this one right here is non-wearable, so just for display. You know, if you go to display, maybe you could put it on top of the you know workshop table, right? and then what else yeah for the hands yeah, you could change that if you want open hands and also right here the base something like this guys hmm. the classic base bam amazing okay anyway that's it and my final thoughts on this figure, I would say it is absolutely incredible. It is a beautiful piece, definitely a must have figure, especially to all Iron Man hardcore fans out there. You should really get this one and add to your Iron Man collections. The quality of the armor, the details is absolutely fantastic. You know, Hot Toys did a great job on this one. The upgraded head scalp is beautiful. However, I noticed that it looks the same or the same mold of the 2.0 version head scalp. You know, I think the only differences between that is probably texture and paint job quality. Anyway, I will try to do a comparison later. 
And one more thing, I think the height of this diecast version is also the same with the 2.0 version. So you're probably going to be disappointed on this one. But in my honest opinion, I think still a great piece even with those flaws of this figure. Okay, I think that's about it. That's all I could say. And if you missed the first version, I think this is the best time to get this Mark 1 armor. And it is a diecast material. But if you have that 2.0 version, I think you might gonna hesitate getting this one. Okay, so let me know what you think about this figure. Feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet, okay? Until then, see you in the next one. Peace!